To start with, it means an automated and continuous software flow, introducing improvements and new functionality from multiple vendors into service provider labs and production networks, with traffic running, fully secure, and without losing performance. This will expand into fully automated operations to quickly introduce new services and manage the increased complexity of a cloud-native 5G network. The promise is continuously refreshing the code that never sleeps. Yes, definitely. As the 5G network complexity with virtualization, cloud-native network slices and edge computing will make the current largely manual ways of working insufficient. With open source software like Kubernetes and software vendors providing new functionality at a higher cadence, more frequent upgrades will be needed for applications to work properly. But then there are some quick wins, starting for example with upgrade and test automation in labs. Even if the industry still have some items to agree on when harmonizing CACD pipelines, there are already things that CSPs can start to do like automated software ingestion, software upgrade and validation, all the way to production in the frame set by Etsy NFV. From an Ericsson perspective, we are already doing these. The automation effort as such is an eye opener as it exposes all the improvement potential from being able to run CICD pipelines, leveraging all the capabilities of the Kubernetes layer towards better configuration management, backup and restore, and other lifecycle management procedures.